good morning once again, family. This is Elder Ernest again with another edition or segment of I Am My Brother's Keeper. Uh, I'll be coming this morning from the book of Genesis, but before I start, if you will, please like, tag, and share this video with someone on your page. We never know who this gospel will reach and touch them and meet them where they are in their life. This morning I'll be coming from the book of Genesis, chapter 17, and I'm going to read about two or three verses. Starting with verse 1, it reads, And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face and God talked with him saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be Abram, but by name, thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much, as always, for this beautiful day. We thank you for this moment in time. We pray that this word that you've given us go forth. Let it bless and touch your people in a mighty way and change lives. We'll forever give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. This is an interesting piece of scripture. It starts off with a man named Abram. The scripture said he was 99 years old when the Lord finally appeared to him. And when he appeared to him, God began to talk to him and told him, he introduced himself as Almighty God. I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make a covenant with you and me and will multiply you exceedingly. And the scripture talked about how Abram fell on his face and how God continued to talk to him and began to tell him to plan for his life, how he was going to make him a father of many nations. But verse 5 is where I wanted to focus on. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. I want to talk for a moment about a name change and what it means. God met Abram where he was at 99 years old. His name was Abram and God had a plan for his life. I believe God does everything for a purpose. We've heard people say, you can ask them, why did you do so and so? Why did you do such and such? What was your purpose behind doing that? And sometimes people say, I don't know. That's not the case with our God. Everything he's done and does has a purpose. Therefore, I believe every person, this is just my belief, every person on this earth has a purpose. Nobody is put on earth with God saying, I don't know why you're here. Can you imagine being on earth, you wanting to know why you're here, why God put you here. And when you finally come to the realization, I have to ask God why I'm here because he's the only one that should know. You ask God, God, why am I here? What's my purpose? He says, I don't know. <laughs> That's insane. That's unfathomable. Unfathomable. God saying, I don't know what your purpose is. So to say that again, every person on earth has a reason for being here. God was getting ready to reveal his purpose to Abram. But before he could pull Abram into his purpose, he changed his name. Abram means exalted father. Abraham, as in scripture, means a father of many nations. So God, in order to make him a father of many nations, he changed his name. What does changing a name mean in scripture? It means I'm getting ready to change your mind. 
You can be in life doing what you want to do. You finally find your purpose. In order you, for you to fulfill that purpose, there has to come a change in mindset. You can no longer do or think or act the way you used to act. You're getting ready to fulfill your, your godly purpose, your kingdom purpose. So God has to change your mind. He has to literally give you the mind of Christ. So that, that name change means I'm getting ready to change your mind. So brothers, men of God, you kings, you can no longer do what you used to do. God wants to change your name and he wants to change your mind. Don't be afraid to ask God what your purpose is. Why, why am I here? Why not ask God that? There's no reason why you should continue walking around on this God-given earth, aimless, not knowing why I'm here. Your reason here is not to have more than one woman. Your reason here is not to accrue as much money as possible. Your reason here is not to be a street pharmacist. Your reason here is to fulfill God's purpose in your life. That will impact people around you. Remember he made Abraham a father of many nations. You have to have the mindset to be a father of many nations. Abraham was called the father of faith. It takes faith to believe God, to walk with God, because all the time you're not going to see, you're not going to understand what he's talking about, especially at the beginning. But the longer you walk with God, the longer you trust God, the more will be revealed in your life. This has blessed me and I hope it's blessed you. I enjoy bringing these segments and episodes with you and I pray to continue more with you. I pray God be with you and have a blessed day.